afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Kansas City Royals and the Detroit Tigers. Mickey Mantle looks to notch his 200th hit of the season. Coming up next. Daniel Norris will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Ready now, Ryan Braun, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Should be a picture-perfect afternoon for baseball. 78 degrees at first pitch. And a good job there to hold back as the count moves to two balls and two strikes now to the Kansas City left fielder. Fastball, strike three called, and he's caught looking to begin the afternoon. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that, that four seam fastball. That's so I think he wasn't Robin. expecting it at all. Yeah. At the plate, Robin Young. And oh, he lays off here, ball. ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was That's a really Burke. good pitch. Might have been just eight. out of the zone, but Gary not by much. Carter. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch, so sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. So coming to the plate, Gary Carter, and we'll see if he can get out of this little dry spell he's stuck in. Not much offensively coming from him lately. Yount, base runner at first with one out. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner and it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. A ball and two strikes here it is a swing and a shot hit down the corner mm, definitely had the distance but it winds up a foul ball. Count even to the kid. Two balls and two strikes to Carter. So let's take a peek at the umpire and crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Hey, d -Row, this is a pitcher's best friend. Matthew Ross, very wide strike zone. Yeah, no excuses from the offense today. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. And a good decision to throw as he is toast at second base. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he misses nope. again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk in the first inning, it might be a little more than just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. Now at the plate, Mickey Mantle. He's fresh off a five-hit ball game yesterday afternoon, so he'll look to keep it going here. The 1-1 home. So, fellas, these Tigers, as they begin play here today, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, man, nothing they'd like to do more than to salvage this one, d -Roll. After this one, they go on the road for a seven-game road trip, so big to get this win here today. Yeah, last game in front of the home folks before you go out for a week. This is a big one. They're going to get it done. The 2-2 two -two. is swung on and missed strike three. A couple of walks, but no damage. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this.
Vita Blue gets the assignment for the rubber match in this series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top young pitchers in the game right now. He keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable pitchers in the game. Now at the plate, Alan Trammell. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hit hard on the ground to second. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder Adam in, second. kept his hands Don't inside the field. baseball, and ripped the big hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, right you there. can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Into the box now, Victor Reyes. Hit on the ground to third. To Sandberg at second. Over to Perez, and it's a double play. Batting third. The right fielder. Al. Kaline. Next for the Tigers, Al Kaline. Trying to get him started again following the double play. Two out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. Hit well on the ground to first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. The throw into second. And this will wind up a closer play than I thought, but he's in there with two bases. Batting four. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. So now to the plate, Ty Cobb. These Kansas City Royals entering play this afternoon, guys. Now they've been on a pretty good roll of late, winners of seven of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. And inning in the books, no score here on the show. Stepping in, Tony Perez. As he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. There's a lot of ways to get on base. Base hit, a walk, hit by pitch. This guy's in the top five on base percentage. He does a little bit of all of those things. Now the one and one pitch. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting fifth. The third baseman, Eddie Matthews. So next to the plate for the Royals, Eddie Matthews. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. No score here as we play inning number two. To one and two now. The pitch. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Nope. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher into the corner and slicing foul. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Here's a looping fly ball out to right, and that'll get down for a base hit. Batting seven. The right fielder, number 10, Andre Johnson. 
In now, Andre Dawson. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. And it's three and one to the Hall of Famer, Andre Dawson. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3-1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Hit hard on the ground to first. Oh, but the feed to the shortstop is off the mark. Batting it. Well, it's really hard to complain about this one because that's one of the hardest double plays to turn. The first baseman has to deal with the runner headed to second, and he sometimes shields it from throwing where you want to make the throw. They should have made it, but that's a tough play all the way around. Stepping into the box, Johnny Damon. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Runners are at second and third with one down. A bouncer up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2 nothing ball game. Hey, this one's a long that way from being over the roll, but that big base hit oh, right yeah. there gives him a two-run lead. Yeah, Dan, without question right there. Huge at bat. Gives his team the lead. Hopefully the pitcher's able to settle down now. He's got some runs on his back, and he's able to go out and execute. Throw over to the bag, and a dive, but he's back in there. And now they've got him in a rundown. They slap the tag on him, and he is out at second base. At the plate now, Ryan Sandberg. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Now the three and two pitch. He is swung on and missed strike three. So two runs on two base hits, one error, and no one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the Royals two and the Tigers nothing. Next to the plate for the Tigers, the DH, C.J. Crone. He comes in with a six-game hitting streak to his credit, so he'll look to keep that rolling in this one. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Ball two. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Pitch on the way. Three two. Danger looms on deck here in the person of Miguel Cabrera. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him Batting. when the swing came through the, the zone. I have base. to think he was looking Big for yeah. something off speed, and Stop. he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. To the plate now, Miguel Cabrera. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Man, I don't think he could have bisected those fielders any better if he tried. Draw that one into the alley for a gapper that'll Go. bring him easily into second base. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. One out and a runner on second base. Oh, 
grounded back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. Batting eight. The third Get baseman. the ball for this man. He, he needs to put that on the mantle. He's Good been draw. struggling. The season hasn't gone according to plan. But he's staying pop committed and grinded out a nice knock. In now, Nico Goodrum. Two hits and eight tries for the series. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off-speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change-ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. To two balls and two strikes now. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Runners are at first and third, one away. Two two is a changeup that misses three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Ground ball to second. This could be two. The second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. They couldn't turn the inning ending double play. They just get the force out at second, and the runner scores from third. So a runner at first with two away. And up next, the catcher, Austin Romine. He's running. Strike taken to throw. Not in time as he steals second. You don't see that very often against this guy. This guy has one of the best arms in the game, but still a successful steal of second base. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. I know one thing. How he earned it? that free That's pass right there. He was Allen. tempted with some really good pitches, Rebel. but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. So stepping in, Alan Trammell, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Two and one. Here it is. Two down. Runners at first and second. He struck him out. And it could have been worse. The inning over with only a run coming across to score. Tigers get just the one. We played two full. It's the Royals two and the Tigers one. Top of the third set to get underway. And that'll bring in the left fielder Ryan Braun. Now here's the pitch. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. 
And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo shot here to left. Number 25 for him on the year. And it's given the Royals a 3-1 to one lead. Well, it's obvious they didn't change their scouting report after yesterday's game. He had two bombs yesterday and another one today. Hey, this pace can't continue, but he's going to ride this wave as long as he can. Stepping in now, Robin Young. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. The catcher, number eight. And the Hall of Fame Gary. catcher, Gary Carter, hits next. He's three for seven in the series coming in. The 1-1. One, one. Skied into straightaway right. K-line. Back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. The bat, number seven, designated hitter. the plate now is the designated Mickey. hitter, Mickey Mantle. Mantle. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. One two is an off speed pitch. No dice. It's two and two. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Hit the other way out toward right field. K line is there. And that retires the side. But a run for the Royals here in the inning, and it came on this home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 3 1 KC. Back now for the Tigers third turn at bat and unfortunately for them and their fans this lineup hasn't really found its stride this season coming into this one they find themselves last in the league in runs scored and a big part of that has to do with their lack of home run production a category where they also rank dead last In talking to a member of the front office he acknowledged how important home runs are to scoring runs in today's sport and that they simply haven't done a good enough job of getting the power bats they need in place he went on to say, it's probably the number one problem we have to address going forward. Matt? All right, Heidi, thank you. The 3-1. And oh, good oh, right patience there. exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Yeah, and as a starter, the last the thing right you want to do number is four. let a team answer when your guys wow. just scored a run for you. So Jay he's Law. thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. Stepping up to the plate, Al Kaline, one for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of runner, pitches, runner. you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Swing and a liner. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two-strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah, Matty, he's having a monster Draw. season, well over 300. Draw. Right there, when you're feeling that confident at the plate, it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. And next, it'll be the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Ty Cobb. And he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. Count is full. Here's the pitch. And he misses with it. Ball four. So that'll load the bases. And now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. And that's two free passes in the third the inning alone. So hitter. you have to wonder if maybe it's something mechanical or if it's just psychological. Got to get back on track here. Here's C.J. Crone now looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. 
and he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. Three balls and two strikes to the Tigers designated hitter. Tight spot. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Belted high in the air out to left. Gone! It's a grand slam! So he will touch them all on the grand slam. Sixth home run on the season for him, and it's now 5-3. Grand Slam's got to fire you up right here. Not only just an unbelievable at bat, but four stakes to boot to give your team the lead. Couldn't be more fired up. Standing in, Miguel Cabrera. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Four runs here in this half inning. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first out of the inning. So with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the American League's Central Division as you see where these two teams find themselves entering our ballgame here today. So the base is empty here with one away, and that means Jonathan Scope will get ready at the plate. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, third baseman, Nico. Goodrum. So digging in now, Nico Goodrum. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1 home down the first baseline but this will get foul it's a ball and two strikes the one two weekly hit to third reined in throw in time and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired but the damage has been done for the Tigers and it was done right here a grand slam home run we played three full. It's now 5-3 in favor of the Tigers. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, I talked with the Kansas City manager during the inning break about the Royals' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. All right, thanks, Heidi. All set for the start of the inning, and here comes the first baseman, Tony Perez. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth now or ninth inning. Third baseman, Eddie Matthews. Coming to the plate now, Eddie Matthews. He reached on a single in his first try. Three runs, three hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. He loses him on ball four. The right fielder, number 10, Andre Dawson. So one gun in the inning here with a runner at first. And that means up next, it'll be the Hall of Famer, Andre Dawson.
No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And it looks like a right-hander's gotten up to throw in the Tiger bullpen. Set to deliver on two and one. Ball three. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3 1. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Runner at first here, one man out. A good pass at that ball, just a little late, and now the count's full. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. On the ground, up the middle. Step on the bag for one. Throw to Cabrera for an inning-ending double play. Royals' bats are quiet there. They're still down 5-3. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said they've done a nice job of keeping their swings inside the strike zone and not chasing after pitches they can't do much with. The numbers say their chase rate in this game is under 25%. And with a bunch of runs on the board right now, that could be a big reason why. Thank you, Heidi. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And now it'll be the catcher, Austin Romine. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. To short. And the throw by Gout is in time, and that's the first out. The batter, number three. Back to Short the top stop. of the order now. Allen. And up next, the Hall of Fame shortstop, Trammell. Alan Trammell. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. The left fielder, number 22. Into the box Victor. now, Victor Reyes. 0 for right 1 hand. with a run scored thus far. The 1-1. One -one is looked at off the plate for a ball. Five runs, six hits. One error for the Tigers thus far. Hit back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. The right fielder, number six, Al Kalon. Into the box now, Al Kalon. And there's ball two now. A runner on first with two away. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a bouncing ball for Ryan Sandberg at second base. Throw over to Perez will be in plenty of time and the inning is over. Tigers leave one as they hang on to their 5-3 lead. ready to go in the top of the fifth and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder Johnny Damon hit hard on the ground towards second 
And the fifth oh. inning will start with a ground out, one away. Now batting. The second Digging in for his second at bat, Ryan. Ryan Sandberg. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Now the payoff pitch home. Fly ball to straightaway left. Reyes is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. The left fielder at the eight. plate, Ryan Braun, Ryan. one for two yeah. in the ball game thus far. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. A solo shot down the line in right. His second home run of the game. As they pull within one here, it's now a 5-4 game. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. At the plate, Robin Young takes this the other way to right. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So with that, the top of the fifth is still alive. The catcher, number eight. Gary Carter. Now here comes Ron Gardenhire up out of the dugout. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart here. And you know he would have loved one more out to qualify for the win. But he's gone nonetheless after four and two thirds. Your Jordan Zimmerman please. takes over here now with the runner at first the and two gone in the inning. Number 27. Jordan. Zimmerman. So now to the plate, Gary Carter. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Two out with the man at first. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder is on the run. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. Well, the Royals draw one closer thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of the fifth. It's the Tigers five and the Royals four.